So the hardest thing about making a vlog is beginning it. And it's the same for me when it comes to my writing. I just always have such a hard time starting things and going into things. I think in part because I overthink them. And when I'm overthinking it, I kind of always tend to stumble or not live up to my expectation because I'm so type A. And, you know, it's just like an endless cycle. But anyway, that's why I decided to open this vlog the way I did. So welcome back um, to anyone who has watched my vlogs before. To newcomers, thank you and welcome. Um, you can see I am working with a limited amount of sunlight right now. So I am going to try, this is like my own way of reining myself in so I don't talk for too long. <laughs> um, we love a natural clock. Um, but anyway, without further ado, um, before I dive into stuff I want to talk about, I wanted to shed some light on these jack-o'-lantern earrings. Uh, I got them at Target last year when I had an actual job, which is a perfect segue into what I really want to address. Um, the whole concept of a career, what encapsulates a career, what does it mean to have a job, and why why you know why does it matter so much what you do for work why is why are we still following such an antiquated way of assessing people's social standing and their worth um because i don't know it's it's deep and i'm not really feeling as eloquent as i wish i were in this moment um but i'm going to try and put it to words Again, I also think being in order is um, something that doesn't come naturally to me. I'm better at writing in terms of expressing myself and speaking, so please bear with me. I also am stone cold sober, so I don't have the nice social lubricant of alcohol to help me along. But, um, you know, so a year ago I was in my second year. I'm trying not to yawn. I am a grandma. It is like 6 p.m., my goodness. But anyway, um, I was at my second year working at the bank. Um, and as many of you know, that friends with me, um, I really hated it there. There's not one single aspect of working at a bank that I liked. I did not like this whole corporate culture of having to look presentable and professional. Like... Like, okay, how do I rephrase that? So, like, I love, I love dressing up, and I, you know, I can get behind a good professional fit, but I guess more so it was the attitude, having to always act so serious and, you know, so haughty and holier than thou, because we were bankers, and we were in the finance world, and I didn't give a shit about it, you know? Like, why was I there? I was there to collect a paycheck. When I interviewed, I lied out of my asshole, and I'm a bad liar. Like, I have emotion written all over my face. I, I don't know how I did it, but the point is, you know, this is what so many people are going through. This, the, the fact that, you know, all these employers, bullshit employers, not even important jobs, want you to take their company, their shitty company as a life or death thing and give you the mentality that you know, you are replaceable and your worth doesn't matter, like wow, it's just it's it's really fucked up, so I've always had a fear of the unknown and being so type A and meticulous, tying back to how I had to constantly re-record my beginnings um, I have always feared stepping out of like a a plan so to speak I always kind of planned my life from school to work I always made sure I had something lined up and leaving the bank opened up a big gray area for me um you know it's like okay I'm not actively employed I don't have a job and of course you know because of the way I was raised and conditioned i felt really bad about it at first because I'm like okay all my other friends are working and I kind of was unknowingly sizing myself up to my friends 
and my peers and being like, wow, like, so-and-so is doing this and I'm out here unemployed, you know. Ooh, it's getting dark. Well, okay, maybe you'll have to listen to me talk in the dark. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, realize that's so stupid and that's the way exactly these sort of employment employers, if you want, um, want us to look at the world. They want you to look as, as everybody as your enemy and your competition. And I think, you know, it is, it can be healthy and constructive to be competitive and like let other people drive you and motivate you, but not out of spite and, you know, not out of anything born of negativity. But that was a big thing for me was kind of unlearning um, that behavior did not, you know, immediately compare myself to my friends. Because we all have such different, unique paths in life, and you can't compare apples and oranges to be cliche. So why am I sizing myself up to a friend that might have gone to grad school and specialized in something and now has a very stable career doing what they love but that they worked and they were in school for so many years you know everybody's at different points in their life so I believe my last vlog I made I talked about my move here so I'm not gonna focus in on that too much but moving was part of me embracing this gray area this new chapter in my life where things weren't concrete and things weren't certain you know um and I think I did also touch upon wanting to be doing and pursuing something that I like because time is so short and limited and you know I felt sick of living a lie you know I hated you know it's just not fun when you wake up and you dread going into your workplace and I know so many people in that in the world live that every day because like you ha you do what you have to do to make ends meet and survive ultimately like you don't have a say sometimes you kind of just have to take it and go on march forward and hope that you know tomorrow is a better day um you know and it's just it's depressing as hell i think i just reached a point with this pandemic and everything just the life is too short i cannot and i physically and mentally could not like force myself to stay in a situation that was making me miserable any longer um, so, you might ask, what am I doing for work out here in LA? Um, that is also what I want to touch upon. So, I am working part-time as a, um, contract delivery driver for several different companies, one including DoorDash, um, which you see me tweet about a lot. Um, I think in the past, and I say this very honestly from a point of growth and because I'm an honest person and I would never pretend that I was perfect, I'm still not perfect, I will never be perfect, I'm human, but I am honest, like I said, and in the past, I know past Nora would have completely stuck up her nose at, at what is happening right now. You know, I think past Nora would have been like, no way would I ever like deign to, that, to like work in that sort of a situation but you know it's not deigning at all and that's what I learned because some of the coolest people you know like it just like that's what I mean when I say your your job situation doesn't dictate who you are and how interesting you are and how I don't know it's just like I feel like we put way too much worth and importance on job titles and for what for what we're just all trying to earn a living and you know if you happen to be doing something that you love and are profiting off of it which is everybody's ideal goal that's great and you should embrace that you know and own it and be proud of that but for the rest of us out here who are just trying to earn money and live and pay our rent why should we feel good or feel proud about something that feels literally just like miserable for back for lack of a better word you know here doing the delivery driving lets me work like 
you know, I have a very flexible schedule. I love it. I have more time in my life than I've ever had. Um, besides, you know, when I was unemployed back in Massachusetts. Um, I drive when I want to drive, when it's convenient for me. I have enough flexibility where, like, I can work a certain amount of hours and still take days off. Like, today I didn't work because I can afford that. Um, it pays well. In fact, the irony is that, you know, and it's all contingent on where you live. I live in L.A. I'm fortunate it's a very hot industry here, you know, and it's a pandemic, so everybody's ordering food, but, um, I make more doing these, these, these little contract driving gigs than I would working miserably as, you know, like a fast food employee, and by the way, I, I'm not trying to put down anybody who works in fast food, um, I, I think that's an essential job, like, literally, these people are going into work so we can all enjoy our what we want, what we have left of a normal routine, and I respect that and I commend that, but for me, I hated it, and I think most people do, but there, there may be people who love it, so, like, I'm not trying to shit on that profession, but I know for me, personally speaking, making $15 an hour, working in a really busy, like, cramped environment, dealing with nasty customers and shit, it's just, it's like a no-brainer, so why wouldn't I, you know, do the delivery driving, not have to talk to people, make better money, command and call my own hours, and when I first moved out here, I kind of, this was just like a temporary plan, but I think I'm gonna, you know, stick with it for a while, because it allows me to support myself and have enough time to keep, you know, to, to watch my movies and to write and to continue to build upon my portfolio and my research. And I just, you know, I have such a good feeling about everything in the sense, like, in the direction my life is going right now, where, yes, you know, I was applying to various job positions, and some of them were and are positions that I would enjoy, like, you know, being in the film industry, but I've learned to be content with where I am, not meaning that I'm settling for this, but in the meantime, I know it's okay that I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm making it work, and I'm able to, you know, use this free time and fill it up with things I like to do, and it also, it forces me to combat my um, restlessness because I'm, maybe I should just make this vlog titled Nora is type A as we've already known and seen and heard a million times, but because I'm so type A, I, and you know, a product, a child of capitalism, um, I feel guilty for not working, for taking time off, or not being busy and occupied, so working the way I do having a lot of free time kind of forces me to reckon with it and myself and to embrace it and it's a challenge but it's really helping me build my character and work on myself in ways that I never would have been able to do in the past um so I guess you know I I really hope that somebody watching this can take away some positives from this and feel better about themselves or make that change they need to make and not feel like they're indebted to working for some shitty company that doesn't respect them or pay them any mind, you know? Um, that's really what I wanted to talk about with this vlog. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Um, I'm going to try and update more regularly, but... Um, Thank you for listening and watching, if you did, and, um, yeah, bye.